just up the road from Ketchum. The typical sights and sounds of a summer camp give way to a different kind of adventure. Make sure in between the south and the west. This camp, you're up in the woods learning about the forest, you're out in the meadow learning about streams and rocks and soils, and you're learning about it so you can understand it. Some of the other camps is just, ooh, pretty. Understanding nature is at the heart of the Natural Resources Camp. 64. I think one of the key things that we do at this camp is we bring them here and we expose them to the natural resources that drive the economy of the state of Idaho and really the economy of the western United States. Looks cool. And then you get to explain why. The instructors are working professionals and they use the tools of their trade to teach nature's complex relationships. And look up, look up for the trees. Every day we see those issues, especially with water, forestry issues, wildlife issues, and I'm hoping that these youth will be able to take some of what they've learned here and try and remember that all these things fit together as they become decision makers in whatever communities that they live in. Mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies are very sensitive to pollution. It's an ambitious goal. Camp leaders believe if kids have the skills to investigate the natural world, the wonders they discover will forge a lifelong connection. Hey guys, come here. Check out that one. Look around us, there's so many youth that will never get to see mounds this big or trees this tall or be up at a camp like this. And it's an amazing experience. And I think that none of these youth that have that opportunity available to them should have to miss out on that. For Be Outside, I'm Michael Keckler.